daily life or in your uh, professional life. Um, anyone who, who works at an office. Yoga Day is a great uh, idea to just remind everyone uh, that we have something called yoga and it's really healthy for you. It's not just uh, a way of exercise but also um, it has a lot to do with breathing and calming your mind and I think that's really important nowadays in our hectic world. So why don't you give yoga a chance on 21st Yoga Day and um, yeah, just try it out. Are you a morning person? I am not a morning person, but I still do yoga in the morning, but my morning starts at like 10.30. So. So, <laughs> Unless I have to shoot, so, wow. and it starts at like 6 so, in the morning. So yeah. what do you eat before uh, yoga? You doing a yoga body? Yeah, actually I, when I wake up, I only have like two big glasses of water, and uh, then I do my yoga. And after yoga, I eat. Uh, what does yoga mean to you? To, to, you. Me, yeah, okay. to me, it means um, a much healthier body, because I feel that especially you know I as an actor you have quite extreme situations that you have to get into for movies not just uh, the movie shoots of 12 hours where you have to dance continuous but even what we had to do for Ye Jawani Ha Diwani climb a mountain like in uh, in Kashmir or in Manali which is like one of the five most dangerous trekking routes and as an actor you just expect it you know to uh, be in that kind of a healthy body to be able to go up there and shoot there and stay there for like a whole day and I think that's where yoga again is something that just prepares you for these kind of events that will happen to you in your daily life or in your uh, professional life um, anyone who, who works at an office as well you know you have these days where you're staring at the computer for eight hours and see again yoga will help you so much only like to bring back your focus to bring back uh, that that peace into your body you know yeah and of course it's it has that really healing effect to your joints to your spine to your inner organs it's it's a great way to live and I think most people who follow yoga they also follow a very uh, healthy diet because you suddenly feel so refreshed and healthy that uh, you suddenly want to go on a juice cleanse you suddenly want to eat raw food it's uh, you you stop eating non-veg because it just uh, creates that this really happy healthy body See, I, um, I think there are lots of girls who have amazing bodies, like, um, of course, Shilpa Shetty is still one of the best looking uh, bodies in our industry. Then uh, Nargis does a lot of yoga, she looks always stunning. And uh, I think, see, it kind of depends also what kind of a person you are. If you love yoga or if you love, like, going to the gym, I think everyone has these different kind of preferences. Uh, for me, it's definitely yoga because I'm quite lazy and yoga is still uh, some workout for lazy people too. And male actor? Male actor. Yeah, I think that male actors always just look fit. They like, have so many muscles and uh, so many abs, you can't count them. But uh, I don't know if they're that fit and that flexible. I think uh, Ritik probably is and maybe Varun is uh, also because they're really good dancers so they have a lot of stamina. It um, can't just be muscles then. But uh, yeah, lots of actors become really stiff, you know, in their body language when they do too much muscle workout. They are not flexible anymore because their muscles become like really t uh, tense when you work out. And what they have to do is stretch. So uh, what's on in Bollywood? What's going on? Uh, for me? Yeah. Well, two of my movies just released. Uh, I'm still bathing in happiness uh, of my fans response to Ishka Darya, which was my first solo lead and I'm just so excited that people uh, liked, you know, my performance in this film. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. Even like hearing Mitunda's uh, uh, response to it, it was so, so amazing. So now I've started my next film and uh, I need to be in a very good shape for this film. That's all I can say right now. I have started my workout routine, which is a little stricter, 
and uh, I think Production House will announce this film uh, by end of this month. And uh, I still, uh, I'm very much into music and since I have a little bit uh, more time right now, uh, I'm also focusing a little bit on my music career. Uh, I released a song about two years ago and I'm, I have a couple of more songs which maybe we can release it now this summer. And uh, I've also started my own non-profit organization which deals with uh, fashion, uh, fashion for a good cause basically. And I will launch this also by end of this month and I'm very excited because for me this is a, a dream come true and I think this is the best thing I can do with all the fame which I've gathered from the movies I've done to create awareness that uh, there are people out there that are less fortunate and the people who are so blessed, you know, need to bless, pass on that blessing to everyone else. And uh, little, about your, little about your character in the announcement of uh, I can only tell you that she's really fit. <laughs> That's all I can tell you right now. <laughs> so any plans to join Hollywood as well? Anything? Any projects to do? It? In yeah. Oh yeah, I just saw Spy and Nargis looked so hot in this. Even yeah. Classic world, yeah. Classic. World. Oh yeah, what fun. Yeah, why not? Uh, see, I I'm very experimental with even with my roles. Like if there's something like an offbeat Anura Kashyap uh, kind of a movie, I would love to look. You know, look at this, but. Uh, in Bollywood, it's more like, uh, okay, she's pretty, let's, you know, let her play the pretty role. While in Hollywood, uh, actresses, uh, like, uh, like you know, Charlize Theron, or like, uh, even uh, Reese Witherspoon, who started with, like, a legally yeah. blonde movie, then does a wild. That is, that is what an actor is looking for, you know, that challenging role. So, in whichever, uh, in ever, whichever kind of uh, genre or uh, offer comes to me, I always read the script. It's most important for me that I, I start with reading the script even before you know, getting too much into the narrations and uh, who are my co-stars. First I want to read the script and if the script is something that interests me then uh, the rest will fall into place I think. What does women empowerment mean to you? What do you want to say? Women empowerment? Yeah. Asking me for my opinion, that is women empowerment. Thank you. <laughs>